one of the major problems you can experience or might have been experiencing while using the 3d effect or the emboss effect on your pixel lab is text or shape distortions like this but then what if i actually show you a way you can actually solve this problem what if i tell you there is a way you can actually make use of this effect and come up with cool ideas like this watch this tutorial to the end to learn how to solve this major problem in just few minutes see you in the video tutorial all right guys you're welcome back to this video tutorial this is david gladness now one of the problems you can encounter while using your emboss effect on the pixel lab is having problems like this as you can see you can see the scattering shape meanwhile i still use the same effects here now these are the problems it also happens in terms of shape it also happens in terms of shape so i am going to show you on this video on how you can solve this problem the simplest method you can solve the problem all right the first thing i would like to do now is to change my project to a default um stuff like this now the first thing i will do now is to bring in a text i'll bring in a text then um let me just input dg graphics all right now as you can see here is my text right there i would like to change the font um the, the color for it i'd like the, to change the color let's look for a different color okay let me make use of this then i would also like to change the um font i would like to make use of a bold font yeah now let's assume this is the the text i actually want to use this is my text and then i want to make use of the emboss effect let me change the background color so that you guys will so that you guys will see what i'm doing clearly now here is the text right here now if i should go to my emboss let's go to emboss the emboss tool then enable as you can see automatically it gets distorted now let me show you something about this emboss effect let me show you something about it even if i should save it this way then go to my gallery you can see now it is not distorted right for example i have set it this way and this is exactly what i want let me try to save it in my gallery let me try to save it in my gallery save as image then i'll save it in an ultra ultra dimension now as you can see the image has been saved to my gallery right now let's go to my gallery to see how it is going to save all right as you can see this is my pixel app folder right here even for the fact that i save this particular image as you can see it right here i save it without being distorted yet the result it gave out was bad you can see that particular effect now let me teach you on how you can actually solve this problem making use of the same pixel app all right so i would like to let you know that the same process you are going to use for text is still the same process you are going to use for shapes as well the first thing you will make sure you do is to make sure your text is actually distorted and make sure you make sure you actually edit your text and make use of the same text i'm going to explain this aspect now the next thing you're going to do is to bring in a shape bring in a shape and make use of that same color you are using it's not really necessary if you use a different color but then i prefer to use the same color now here is the reason you need to reduce the size of the color um, the shape to something very small now if you are using a different color for example a white color it will be showing let me tap on the shape then go to color and enable now let me make use of a white color now if you should look at my text right here you can see that white spot you can see that white spot this is the reason why i prefer to use the same color you can see this particular white spot right here this is why i actually like to use the same color but then if you are using um the, a different color you can either move the shape to the back of your text now as you can see that white spot is gone the next thing you're going to do now is to merge them together just merge them together now in some cases something like this can happen in some cases actually not in every cases when something like this happens, as you can see i have merged them together which is automatically supposed to solve that problem this is what you are going to do undo your merging and readjust again readjust again you can see that just try to adjust it again now as you can see now merge them together 
match the shapes um the shape and the text together and as you can see the problem has been solved and this is why i asked you to make sure you have edited your text before merging them together because after merging them together if you should come to your if you want to edit the text you won't be able to edit them again you won't be able to edit that particular text again except you come to shape and as you can see when it is a shape it um this particular thing is appearing like um this particular text here is appearing like a text but then it is no longer a text it is now a shape it is now a shape all right now let me show you how you can do this in terms of shapes let me just hide this in terms of shape now let's just bring in a shape as you can see we have a shape right here i would like to use the same color i used which is the yellow color right now the next thing we are going to do is to go to emboss and as i've said earlier the same process you are going to solve the problem of that of shape is still the same process you are going to use for text as well as you can see even if i should try to adjust this particular shape all right as you can see so let's let me try to position it at the middle then let's save it as gallery let's save it to image to our gallery now one thing is that eventually most time even if you adjust it this way and you save it not every time though if you should save it if you go to your gallery to check you will notice that it is still having that distorted effect as you can see look at it right here you can see that meanwhile i save it without being distorted now the same process you use for the text is still the same process you are going to use for the shapes as well so just make sure it it give you that distorting um effect make sure it show that scattered effect all right now bring in a shape and as i said earlier use the same color or move your shape to the back of the first element or you can also move your shape to somewhere that is not going to show around your workspace right here so i'm going to move it out and then make them together and as you can see the problem has been solved even if we should save this now you can see let me make this visible this is for the shape and this is for the text so even if we should save this now it is not going to be distorted so let's save it as image and confirm it let's save this as image and confirm it in our gallery all right as you can see the shape is perfect the shape is now perfect so let me show you how you can actually solve the problem of the 3d effect that is all about solving the emboss problem so when it comes to 3d shapes and texts let me use the same um text i've been using which is pg graphics and then the same color i would like to it could be any color please i just prefer to use this color for the sake of this tutorial all right so here's my text right here now in terms of 3d text and you enable you can see that broke is this showing a broken um just like the emboss you can see the back you can see these places you can see those effects you can actually solve this effect and this is how you can very simple just scroll down scroll down and um go to stimulate lightning then turn it off turn off the stimulate lightning as you can see that then after turning it off from there you can start any um working on your your depth or anything else you feel like adjusting the depth you can work on the depth you can work on anything else you feel like adding or adjusting you can also work on your rotations as you can see you can work on the rotations and just make use of anything you want to make use of as you can see this is actually beautiful you can see that it's not having any distorted effect but then if we should turn on this um stimulate lightning at the end of the day you will notice that your shape is having those bad um le let me show you properly you can see that d now let's turn off the stimulate lightning you can see it has been fixed but then if you turn it on it's going to have those broken um effects all right so the same thing applicable to shapes when it comes to the terms of shape this let, let's say um okay let me just bring in another shape let me bring in another shape 
then I will use the same color as you can see now in terms of shape this might not actually be really visible let's go to our 3d shape then enable as you can see it is not really visible this is not really being visible so let's just delete the shape then let me just bring in a circle shape so let me bring in a circle shape and um, make use of I will, I will turn off the shape itself and give it a stroke now the stroke is not visible because it is automatically a black color then I'll change the stroke color to let's make use of that same yellow color and as you can see I think this should be more visible and you will understand what I'm trying to explain using this shape so let's go to 3d sh shape and enable it now as you can see you can see this particular you can see it you can see that that effect you can see the broken effect so let me go back to my 3d shape now to fix it all you need to do is just turn off the stimulate lightning let me um rotate it so that you can see what i'm referring to let me rotate it so that you can see what i'm actually referring to you can see that some part of the shape is actually broken some part of our shape um, appears to be broken so to fix it all you need to do is go to your stimulant lightning then turn it off and as you can see the shape it is now okay as you can see the shape is now okay and it is perfect this way you can see that so yeah this is actually beautiful this is actually beautiful thank you for sticking around with me to the end of this tutorial video please if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel do well to subscribe also turn on the notification icon so that you will get notified anytime i drop new tutorial videos by dropping a request in the comment section below see you on the next one and thank you for always engaging